Turning now to those allegations of sexual harassment against Tom Brokaw, NBC senior national correspondent Kate Snow was here with more on this story. Hey, Kate, good morning. Good morning. Overnight allegations have surfaced against longtime NBC News anchor Tom Brokaw and our former colleague Matt Lauer as well. Both men refute the accusations that are being made against them. Meanwhile, another former NBC anchor, Ann Curry, is also speaking out along with others, criticizing NBC News's division, the NBC News division for what they say is an an atmosphere that enabled sexual misconduct and made it difficult to report. I was groped and assaulted by Tom Brokaw. Linda Vester was a correspondent for NBC News in the 1990s. Overnight, Variety published her allegations that veteran NBC anchorman Tom Brokaw harassed her now and made several now. unwanted Stay advances during her time with the network. Vester says Brokaw once showed up at her hotel room in New York City uninvited, at first putting his finger on her lips, then grabbing her. He took the same hand, reached behind my head, and tried to force me to kiss him. Vester says she quickly pulled away and claims Brokaw tried to kiss her again before leaving. I stood there for a couple of minutes and just shook out of sheer panic. Vester says she kept a diary of the incident and told friends, both verified by Variety. She says a similar incident occurred in London a year later, accusing Brokaw of turning up at her apartment uninvited and again trying to kiss her. In a statement, Brokaw says, I met with Linda Vester on two occasions, both at her request 23 years ago, because she wanted advice with respect to her career at NBC. The meetings were brief, cordial, and appropriate. And despite Linda's allegations, I made no romantic overtures towards her at that time or any other. A spokesman for NBC News declined to comment on the Brokaw allegations. Vester says she didn't say anything at the time because she feared Brokaw could ruin her career. Because of his power, I was unable to talk about it, so I was silenced. A second unnamed woman says Brokaw acted inappropriately toward her in the 90s as well. Brokaw says no such incident happened. Also overnight, the Washington Post revealing that 12 current or former NBC staffers say they were sexually harassed at the network but did not report it. That includes two new allegations against former Today anchor Matt Lauer. One woman claims the anchor exposed himself in his office and asked her to touch him. Another says Lauer had sex with her in his office. I would be surprised if many uh, women did not understand that there was a climate of verbal harassment um, that existed. Former Today co-host Ann Curry tells the Washington Post overnight she was approached by a female staffer in 2012 who told her she was sexually harassed physically by Lauer and was afraid of losing her job. Curry reportedly says at the time she told two members of NBC management that, quote, they had a problem with Lauer and they needed to keep an eye on him. Curry did not name the people she spoke with. A spokesman for NBC News says there's no record of that conversation, adding that those in management of the news division and today at that time are no longer with the company. In a new statement to the Washington Post, Matt Lauer says in part, I fully acknowledge that I acted inappropriately as a husband, father, and principal at NBC. However, I want to make it perfectly clear that any allegations or reports of coercive, aggressive, or abusive actions on my part at any time are absolutely false. NBC News terminated Lauer after a complaint last fall. A spokesman says an internal review is nearing completion. Linda Vester, Brokaw's accuser, says NBC has failed to hire outside counsel to investigate investigate a genuine long-standing problem of sexual misconduct in the news division. NBC News says the internal review is being led by NBC Universal's general counsel. There's also a culture assessment taking place with small dialogue groups across the network and all employees including myself, are receiving in-person workplace behavioral training. All right. Kate Snow. Kate, thank, thank you. Thank you, Kate. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.